Hello, I'm going to try to explain to you how the variable valve timing actuator works and the oil control valve. Which is right here, the oil control valve. It's got spools inside that get gummed up varnish that doesn't work. If the if the oil control valve doesn't work, this actuator right here, known as a VVT, stands for variable valve timing. If it doesn't get enough oil pressure from this part, this will retard or advance the timing and it will be off because it can't sufficiently work without the oil pressure coming from the oil control valve. Next thing I want to show you On the intake camshaft, which is right here, this is a camshaft end cap, which sits like this. Okay, sits in there. So the oil supply is right here, and there's a filter inside, and it looks like this. Here's the filter that goes in there. The filter must be absolutely clear and clean for the sufficient oil pressure to go into the cap. It goes like that. Then you screw on the end plug. The torque on these bolts is almost 90 inch pounds. This is 70 inch pounds. And you have to make sure too, you have to make sure that this surface right here the surface right here is flat I actually sand it with 600 grit sandpaper to make sure that this oil hole right here is being properly fed okay the other misconception I have seen online is this one the camshaft if I can get in here this is not a great video but see the camshaft right here you see right here there's an orange dot see the orange dot and then over here you see this notch right here see this notch these must be there's the notch right there sorry the notch right there must be at 12 o'clock position on both cams okay before you put the timing chain on and I want to show you another part